It is so agreed. Its chief calls it a deal to put the world back in World Trade Organization. The agreement struck in Bali, Indonesia, reduces barriers to exports for the world's poorest nations and aims to slash red tape at customs. It came after Cuba dropped a threat to veto it and India was granted temporary relief over farming subsidies. We have negotiated a package that will bring food security to billions of the world's poorest. We have delivered an agreement on trade facilitation that will inject up to a trillion dollars into the world economy. And we have agreed a groundbreaking suit of initiatives to help least developed countries benefit more from the multilateral trading system. Analysts say the deal could create more than 20 million jobs, mostly in developing countries. After 12 years of talks, there was little hope of success, but as the latest session spilled over into an extra day, the WTO chief said the entire membership came together. The deal still needs to be approved by each member government. It also needs to convince skeptics such as the anti-WTO demonstrators in Bali who accuse it of imperialist practices exploiting poorer countries. One analyst said the deal does little other than paper over a serious dispute on food security.